Hello, my name is Sameer Singh and I'm a technical marketing engineer in the NetSec team at Cisco. In this video, we will look at how we can use firewall migration tool in the Cisco Defense Orchestrator. Just like using the client, you can migrate all your existing firewall configuration from Cisco Secure Firewall ASA, Secure Firewall Threat Defense, Managed by Firewall Defense by Device Manager, Checkpoint Firewall, Palo Alto Network Firewalls and Fortinet Firewalls to a Threat Defense device managed by your Cloud Delivered Firewall Management Center. The migration tool in CDO extracts the device configuration from the source device that you select or from the configuration file that you upload and migrates them to the cloud delivered firewall management center provisioned on your CDO tenant after you validate the configuration. Log into your CDO tenant, choose tools and services and then firewall migration tool. On this page, on the top right, click the blue plus button to initialize a new migration instance. The firewall migration tool enables you to create up to 10 migration instances and launch all of them concurrently. Each migration instance will open in a new browser tab. Once you click on the plus button, the CDO generates a name for your migration automatically. You can use the auto-generated name or change it to suit your needs. Click OK and wait until you see the status change from initializing to ready to migrate. When you initialize a new migration, a cloud instance of the migration tool opens in a new browser tab and enables you to perform your migration tasks, eliminating the need for you to download and maintain the desktop version of the firewall migration tool. On the new migration, click launch. The migration tool opens in a new browser tab and does not require any authentication. Once the migration instance opens in a new web page, you can start with the migration by selecting the source firewall vendor and then click on start migration. The tool allows you to either manually upload an ASA configuration file or choose from any one of the CDO managed ASA devices listed on the connect to ASA pane. In this case, we will upload the ASA configuration manually. If you have one or more security contexts configured on your ASA device, the migration tool allows you to choose which context you want to migrate or merge all or some of your context to a single instance and then migrate them. Select the contexts to merge and click on merge. In the select target page, the cloud delivered firewall management center provisioned on your CDO tenant is selected by default and the threat defense device managed by the management center are listed. You can choose the threat defense device you wish to migrate your ASA configuration to. The tool then displays all the features configured on the source device. Click on proceed and begin the parsing process. Once the parsing is complete, the tool will generate a pre-migration report, which provides a summary of the configuration that will be migrated. It shows the contexts selected and the VRFs that will be created for those. Click on next and then map the interfaces on ASA with that on the target firewall threat defense. Next, auto create security zones and interface groups for the interfaces to be configured. On the optimize review and validate page, it will display the details of the configuration that will be migrated for validation. Under interfaces, we can see the interfaces to be configured and their mapped VRFs. Under routing, in the ECMP section, we can see the ECMP routes that will be created for the corresponding VRFs. Validate and then push the configuration to the target firewall threat defense. Once the push is complete, a post-migration report is generated, which contains a summary of all the configuration that is migrated, what is ignored and what is not supported. It also includes context to VRF mapping, interface to ECMP zone mapping, etc. On the target devices in the cloud delivered firewall management center, under interfaces, we can see all the interfaces that are created and under routes, selecting the specific VRF, we can see the mapped interfaces and the ECMP routes. We can also verify the other policies that are configured on the management center. Once the migration is complete, we can go back to the defense orchestrator and delete the migration tool instance. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope this was useful to you and thank you.